Hey guys, out here working on the GX340 for the Motovox Cruiser, Stretch Cruiser. I don't have a name for it yet. So what I'm working on today is getting the torque converter mounted up. So one thing I had to do, uh, your mileage may vary, probably not, is that I had to trim down the rear oil drain oil field. You know, normally it looks like that. The back part was hitting it. I don't see any point of trying to trim and notch that when I could just trim and notch that instead. What I did with my 10 mil. It looks pretty even on the hole, but the other holes are not lining up. So that one is gonna need some drilling. Right there is gonna need to be drilled as well. This is what we have. Let's see if it lines up now. And those should line up just fine now. So let's see if we can get a bolt in them. And it's bolted up. I'll probably run uh, some washers around those, maybe. The hole is outside of the frame. So maybe I could notch it and just put a washer over top of it. I guess that'd be better than nothing. All right, I got the third hole notched out. I found some washers, three washers for one, two, three. So I'm going to get that bolted up. All right. So the torque converter is all mounted up. And I put the washers on it. Maybe for some additional clamp force. I don't know. Uh, and we can check out the back of the torque converter. And uh, well, it's so tight in there. You really can't see. But I, like I said, you can see that without trimming off the top of the oil field slash check it wouldn't have fit so now i'm going to clean up the uh, the shaft a little bit throw a little bit of three and one on it and uh, get everything mounted up on that so the 35 chain sprocket is 12 teeth the 420 chain sprocket is 10 teeth all right so I made a spacer, the camera dog, and it's exactly what we needed. It's ugly, but I mean, it ain't got to be pretty to work. Take the ugly spacer, put it in first. Take the spacer that came with the kit. Take the back plate. Put that on, and then from here, we're gonna need to go ahead and put the belt on. And yes, this still isn't tight, but I'll tight. All right, and then gonna take the little gear thingy in the bottom. Slide that on. Take the driver itself. Slide that on. No key in this one. So it just slides on like so. Then we're going to take our bolt. 
and the bolt is too deep. So let me drill this out really quick. Lock tight on the threads, just a little bit of extra security. Because people always say that they have problems uh, with their torque converter bolts coming loose. And I'd rather not have that problem. I can minimize it by using some, some little bit of lock tight. Then I sure will. Here with a couple of other duggers, but I want to get it where it's going so that the blue lock type can do its thing. We have the torque converter installed on the Honda 340. You know, a couple modifications, you know, the um, three of the holes didn't line up. Um, it did not come with the right side crank bolt, so I had to get one of those. Had to make a spacer. You would. I, I had. I needed two spacers on mine because this spacer that it came with would have misaligned it. Would have stuck it out too too far. I thought about trying to cut it in half, but then trying to get it flat. I don't think would work. So, Honda 340. You know, Amazon uh, Lost Star, Lost Lost Star, Low Star uh, torque converter. If anybody wants to know, it does have a 699 belt, which I believe is the same belt that I have on my Warrior, like a 30 series belt. So now I can actually get it mounted up on the bike so I can drill the holes in the motor plate. Um, I'm going to start working on the braking system. So, you know, if you have a Honda 340, probably. 390, 420, 301, anything in that range, a big block motor. Um, I'm thinking you'll probably have to do these modifications because I'm thinking that the boat bat, the, the bolt pattern is probably going to be uh, the exact same. I'm thinking, I don't know. Until next time, peace.